How long have them Bruins been going? Oh, we've been going about about two years. Joel and I kicked it off, I reckon, but playing gigs for about oh, a little over 12 months, I'd say. You have made quite an impact then in that 12 months. Yeah, we probably jammed a fair bit before we started playing live, which is what we always intended to do. I think a lot of bands sort of get together and start playing live a bit early, but we sort of thought we'd go behind closed doors and bang it out for a while before we actually started to play live, so I think that's helped us a bit. Right, yeah. You've gotten a bit of support from Triple J too, haven't you? Yeah, the latest, well, the single that we just released two weeks ago has been added to rotation. It's getting some good, uh, oh, it's getting some spins and some, some good feedback, so, you know, that's pretty cool. Our first single got added as well, so, yeah, we've been pretty lucky. Yeah. If people want to go to your Facebook, which is facebook.com forward slash them Bruins, I like Correct. your, uh, in your bio where it says, if Peter Garrett fronted Nirvana during the... Utura, Utura years. Utero years. Utero, yeah. yeah. Then Bruins would be the sweat mopped off the floorboards <laughs> and left to ferment in the bucket backstage. <laughs> <laughs> Who came up with that? <laughs> uh, well, no one from the band. That was a, a guy that our manager knew who was keen to help out writing a bio, and he came to one of our gigs in the early, you know, one of our first, probably second or third gig he came to, I think, and. And he wrote that. Oh, that is um, cool. <laughs> yeah, which it, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a pretty good line, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not the lead singer, are you? No, I'm the guitarist. You're the guitarist. What is yeah. the writing process like in Them Bruins? Oh, it changes. Uh, it'll either, it's either kind of I'll bring demos and stuff and bring some stuff into the other guys, and then we'll and or give it to Joel, who's the singer, and he'll work on the vocals and melody and all that sort of thing or we start from scratch in the rehearsal room together and just jam on stuff and whether one of us is, it'll often be Joel will come in with a melody and then we'll, we'll shape a song around that. All right and you guys have just done your single launch. Yeah oh, last Friday, not Friday just gone the Friday before we yeah launched it to the public bar in that's, North Melbourne it was, it was a ripper night. Cool that's for Outrun the Future. That's for Outrun the Future yeah yeah. And you're about to release a film clip for that? Yeah, we've we've shot a clip. It should be coming out hopefully towards the end of this week, I think. Just waiting on the director to, to finish the final cut. Yeah, hopefully by the end of the week we'll, we'll have that up online. Well, you do have one video on your YouTube at the moment, Black Widow. Yeah. Is the, filmed Black in a Widow bathroom. Our, yeah, <laughs> filmed in a, in a bathroom. Sort of, well, our, our artwork that we released... Well, our first EP was a, was a bathroom shot, so we thought we'd carry that through in the video for the Black Widow. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we were pretty stoked with it in the end. It's turned out pretty well, that video. Well, it looks like a public bathroom. Yeah, it is. Well, it's actually a, a, a warehouse that one of our friends found and said, you, you, I found the perfect place for you to shoot your clip. Right. And, uh, yeah, the black and white tiles really topped it off. Yeah, no, it looks really cool. Is the new one anything similar or...? Uh, no, it's, the new one's... I mean, the first one was sort of a live performance sort of video. This next one is more of a, a story with not so much of the band in it. Where we're, we're in the background, I guess. My sort of uh, new director, Tavis, who was keen to, to make a clip with us, and he came up with an idea, and, and we sort of just let him go with it. It was shot in a pub in Richmond. And as I mentioned, you've got the video for Black Widow, which was off your debut EP, God Bless them Bruins. Mm-hmm. Is the new single off of that or are you working on a new EP or album? No, working on an album at the moment. I guess this single was a bit of a intro, I guess, to the to what the album might be like. We haven't recorded it yet, but we're sort of working on it and we, we wanted to get the single out in the meantime, sort of to keep our keep momentum going and our name out there. Yeah. But I think we'll record probably early next year. We're releasing another single at the end of January. Are you planning a national tour in support of this single? Or? We're sort of just organising all, all of that stuff now. We wanted to get the Melbourne launch out of the way first and then we're sort of going to sum up our options as to what's best for us to do next. But we'll definitely be playing about until the end of the year pretty heavily, I think. Can I ask you personally what your influences are musically or what you listen to? Yeah, varied. Well, mainly guitar-based, I guess, as you would imagine, but... I guess as a kid growing up, my main sort of influence would probably be Nirvana, as most teenagers would probably attest to. But these days, Aussie bands, I'm really into Violent Soho at the moment. Also, DZ Death Rays are doing some cool stuff at the moment. Anything, anything guitar-based, really. 
And you've done some shows with Children Collide and Calling All Cars are pretty cool in my mm. books. Yeah, well, they're two bands that definitely that we've sort of influenced by, I guess, Children Collide. I've always really liked their stuff. Yeah, it was great to play with them at the ESPY earlier on this year. Anyone you'd really like to support? Oh, I'd love to love for us to get on a, an international support. I know it's off my head. Maybe the Queens of the Stone Age, they're coming. Oh, yeah. Get us, let's get us on that gig. <laughs> that, that, that'd that work. That'd be cool. Yeah, no, that would be that would be an awesome gig. Yeah. Oh, good luck. What's your favourite yeah. venue in Melbourne to play at? Venue to play at, yeah. I actually really love the public bar that we played our single launch at right. last week. It's, it's just a great small little room that, you know, if it's full, it's sort of got a really good good vibe. Bigger rooms, I like, I like playing the SB front bar. is pretty cool if there's, you know, because there's always Friday night in there. There's always lots of people in there and, you know, pretty good vibe. Yes, my favourite venue, front bar of the SB. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? It is very cool. Yeah. And so at the moment, you the the single is your focus. It's yeah, totally. The single will be the focus until I guess the end of the year, and then we'll we'll put another single out at the end of Jan, and we'll do it do it all again, and then album will be the focus then. I think. Can I ask what them Bruins actually means? Like it's. Sounds Bruins sounds sort of Scottish to me. Yeah, a couple of people have said that. It's actually, well, it's, I think a Bruin is actually in a, a grizzly bear of some description. I know there's, there's a hockey team in in the States, Boston Bruins, but uh, well, Joel actually came up with the name. I'm actually not entirely sure of the story, but it's, I think his brother even might have come up with it, and oh. uh, he sort of stole it. And then he, we sort of, he mentioned it to me, and I thought, yeah, it sounds pretty tough. It'll do us. <laughs> and away we, away we went. Well, you guys have done a few interstate shows, haven't you? You've been yeah, we've done we've done two sort of runs or two or three, I'm not sure, uh, runs up the east coast and back. So right up to Brisbane, and, and then we played the Gold Coast and Sydney and Port Macquarie. Yeah, we've done that a couple of times. We did that in on the back of the EP twice, I think, actually. Yeah. All right, and what's is it like road tripping? Oh, we usually fly to Brisbane usually and then drive sort of down to the Gold Coast, obviously, and then we usually come home and then we'll go to Sydney the next weekend. So we've, we've sort of flown most of the time. We found that's, you know, with sort of cheaper flights these days, it's kind of the easier way to do it. Yeah, well, it's cheaper than petrol half the time too. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. Most and, of the time. You know, a lot quicker. You can just zip up and you're there. Yeah. So people can actually find Them Bruins on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Them Bruins. Your website Correct. is thembruins.com and... If you're doing any more live shows in any area that anyone's near, definitely get down and see them. I mean, you've got a really cool sound happening. What Do you class yourself in any genre or mix of genres? Uh, we sort of we, we seem to run with raucous rock and roll. It's what we've sort of been tainted as. Our live show is pretty, pretty raucous and, you know, there's not much shoegazing going on. We sort of put a stop to that early on and... The word raucous came up and that, that that kind of stuck. But yeah, just alternate rock, I guess. Yeah, because on, on your Eret page it says all 70s punk showmanship. <laughs> yeah, that's another line from that bio writer. <laughs> He's gold. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get him to write your reviews and send them out to all the yeah, online magazines. <laughs> yeah. Well, I very much look forward to seeing you play live. It looks like it could be fun. Exciting. Yeah, well, hopefully we get down to, to Ballarat before the end of the year. It has been great talking to you, and I do look forward to seeing you play live and having another chat again when you release that album. Yeah, definitely. Awesome. Thanks for having us on. And I look forward to it, and have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. See ya.